so many chronic um, neck problems and lower back problems that I'm I'm wondering how this has come about so so powerfully and so quickly. maybe a couple of years ago, where they were talking about kids who are studying sitting on in their beds, you know, with laptops on their knees, and that they're developing, you know, this occipital bone is like, the, the, there's a ligament in the back, the nuchal ligament, which is pulling on a part of the skull, which is helping that part of the skull change shape to actually form like a extra tether to be able to hold that head because the head is so held forward that they're calling it a horn. I mean, it's really an inverted horn, but, but it's interesting how we're, we're, re, we're reshaping ourselves because our bones, our skeleton, it's alive. Every cell is gonna change every 10 years and we are reshaping ourselves. And it's, it, it is kind of scary when we, sit, when we see these um, very uh, distorted ways of organizing the spine from the pelvis to the shoulders to the head. And so the beauty though, is that when you do a lesson, you actually can peel away a lot of that stuff, a lot of those habits. The thing is, it may not, it may need to be repeated many times. And so, as we all say to our students, you know, you do a lesson once, maybe that's the first time you taste it, you try it, you, you feel some change, but you go back a second time and you do it again, you're not only re experiencing it, you're also going deeper with it. And more importantly, because this is about changes in your sensitivity and awareness of yourself, you're actually strengthening those new connections that you're building in your brain for that more optimal way of being. Like if you feel, oh, I'm more, I can feel my heels a bit more now, and I do feel like I'm a bit more upright. Well, I think that when that hits your horizon, when you feel that and you repeat it, you have a greater possibility to prevent that thing which takes you away from it. And so these things are not just living in our tissues, it's physically changing the structure of your brain. And um, if we can reinforce those experiences by doing the lesson again and again and again, hey, that's fantastic. I mean, I, every time I do lessons that I, I have favorites, I just keep going back to them because it just, it's not enough to just have a taste. I want to have it and I want to remember that when I'm at the sink or when I'm at the computer or when I'm, I don't know, when, it, when I'm taking a walk or whatever I'm doing, I want to remember, wow, that wonderful feeling. And actually that feeling, that sensation, it's like, a, it's like you unlock a puzzle and then suddenly you have it again. And that's, that's incredible because it's in your brain. It, the, the, muscle, the muscles are not smart at all. Even your soft tissues, none of them are smart. Those nerve endings all speak to your brain.